Hello guys, this is this Undead Bros M41A, and we got their M1 Grand back out. I don't know if you can tell a difference, but I refinished the stock on it with um, linseed oil finish, like true oil stuff. Looks really nice. Anyways, just wanted to show that off. And since this is a really old gun and the springs on it are pretty old, I got a new spring set for it. These are the guide rod, not guide rod, um, operating rod springs. Got one of those from, well, two of them. And then I got two hammer springs. And then I got a clip latch spring. And you're supposed to replace all these if you have an old one. Yeah, of course, they're all old now. But um, I got all these springs from grandgear.com. They're pretty cheap. It's supposed to be made out of stainless steel and it's supposed to work really good. So I'll show you how to take the gun apart. All right, guys. So the first thing we'll do is make sure the gun is empty. Just to show you. Catch back all the way. And there's no bullets in there, no bullets in the chamber. So, put forward. Then you tilt it upside down. Pull back on this, and this will ratchet up. And this here pulls out. And um, this little spring in there is a hammer spring, which we'll be replacing, but we'll do that last. So, I'll show you how to take this apart. It's really easy. So, but I, I will go ahead and let the hammer forwards so that it's not there we go just like that so it's not it doesn't have pressure on it we'll set that off to the side all right guys now we're going to get the barrel and receiver out of the stock itself so this one here is pretty tight which is good but um so to get that out you just have a towel or something and tap the back of the stock and it'll pop right out. You want this to be tight, otherwise it helps to keep it accurate. So, we'll set the stock to the side and then we got the receiver group and barrel and everything. And this here is the spring we'll be replacing next. We're gonna try not to take apart any of this. We're just gonna try to take it. Um, sorry, that's our brother downstairs testing out his horns on his truck he just bought. Um, anyways, we're taking out this right here, which is connected to the spring. So, there's a little hook right here and hooks into. So we're going to pull back on it. Like that. And that whole thing will come out just like that. Alright, so now I'm going to try to take this spring off of this little piece. Um, so usually it just twists off and pull it off and twist at the same time. And mine's kind of tight. Well, oh, there it goes. Set the pull on it, twist it off. As you can see, it's kind of flared on the end. Kind of flared on the end, and um, the spring is kind of flared down so that this pretty tight fit. We found something kind of interesting. This is the old spring and this is the new one. This is show you the new one is just like maybe a half of an inch shorter than the, <clears throat> the old one was. So that's kind of interesting and um, you can actually see that all these coils on the old one are spread out maybe just just a hair more than all the coils on the new one. So probably was about time for to replace it so and I'll try to put this on the same way it came off I guess just you know it goes on way easier so here we go and then slide it in here just like that I'm actually gonna put some oil on it Slide it down. And there's a place inside of here that it clips on to. Just like that. Alright, well now to put this into here. It's pretty dang simple. All you do is take this, make sure it's all lined up in there. And 
I'm sorry, I messed up. All right, I should have said this end piece right here rocks into this piece first to get it to the hook on. So I bumped my finger there. That was an accident. And then when you get that side of there, you just squeeze this together and all made it back up. So I'll set this part aside and we'll take apart the trigger assembly. I'm not going to take apart this whole thing. We're just going to take this part. So this is the one pin right there holding it in. You see how big it is on that side? How little it is on that side? So it obviously goes this way. So you only need like a bullet, something pointy. You don't need a hammer or anything. And just push that out. And you might need to push on this to relieve pressure on that spring, the trigger. Right there. Push on it. There it goes. And then see if I can pull that out. Just like that. And then it's under a lot of tension, so it'll just let go of it really slow. And then that just pulls straight out just like that. This spring actually looks pretty new. Probably fine. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of oil inside of there since it hasn't been cleaned for a while, and then we'll keep recording after that. All right, so we got it all set up now, and um, I'm gonna try to get this in there and show it on camera, but probably gonna block the camera a little bit with my hands. But do the best we can. This is the first time I've done this, so it looks like I haven't done it before. You're right. The spring is way stronger than the old one was. So. Whenever that goes in there like that. You might have to put that pin in there. Well, I'm going to help undead row number one and we'll get back to you. Alright guys, so after a lot of praying and cursing, we finally got this pin in there. Apparently this is one of the hardest parts to put on the Amongerand, which we didn't know. Now we do. But um, So we weren't able to get it on camera, but basically you put this trigger in there and there's a hook on the trigger right there. And um, this rests against a little notch in there. And uh, there's a cutout on this and it faces this way towards this side. Obviously you can't see it there. And then uh, you rock it in, and it's a mixture of pushing on the sear and pushing on the trigger to get this hole lined up, and then you just push it in. And once it's lined up, it's really easy. So that's how you put that back together. All right, so the M1 Grand is one of those guns you have to put grease on. Here's some grease. And um, just put grease on these hooks right here. So I'll go ahead and show you. Just put grease on. Something. Let's put a little bit on there. There we go. All greased up. Alright, so this goes in the same way it came out. Cock the hammer back and um, pull the trigger guard back. And then... Doesn't go that way. <laughs> Sorry. 
goes like this and sits in there and then should lock into place just like that and then still clear locks back actually it is a lot smoother now going back and forth you can't tell the difference and the hammer does fire Safety still works. So there you go. That's how you upgrade the springs in your Mongrand. I'm not going to change the clip latch spring because mine is still pretty good. So but I got a spare one just in case I ever have to. So hope you enjoyed the video and leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned to our channel for more videos like this.